beginning of the video you can see what we're getting into so we're going to head over to George's garage meet up with George and get a couple oil changes done get the car is up on his lift to make it easy so short ride over there and get some work done. Give the Shelby some love. See you at the garage. You don't want to have his car here. I thought we were going to do both of them, so we'll just we'll just get mine done today. Be a quick day. All right. Put a different plug in, and it came out of one. But it wasn't. I don't think it was the UPR. It was a different one. But it's it still, metal. you know, it's still yeah, it still has a lot and everything. Yeah. So I think I'm up. His said his must have blown out. He was, on the, he was running it on the track too, though. Yeah. But I don't know what caused it. But I've looked at those. I like the design of those. Right. And that's got the magnet on it too. Now what I do is, what I do is when I break that free. Then I just yeah, like I pull it out with this, and okay. I hold it. I control the flow of oil with this okay. by not letting that plug come all the way out. And it works good because then you're all the way back here. You're not yeah, it. yeah. And then once it gets down to point, you can pick it out all the way. That's how I do it. You gotta get the tab past the tab block on that first. Right. Just push in a little bit, and then that turns and it's free. And it'll start coming out. Twist itself right there. Right. Okay. <laughs> I can pull it back. Uh, okay. Yeah. And I can just control the flow of the oil. Right. Makes a mess on the plug. Yeah. That's not what you can do with that. Can you raise that band up a little bit more? Or? Nah, should be good there. It just takes a little while. It's right. Like it's clear oil. You can see it. Yeah. It, it's time for this one to, to get done. Yep. There we go. If you raise your hand up and lay it right against that transmission mount, it gives it an opening at the bottom where it lets it flow out nice. Oh yeah. 
You can do the same on your jacks under the car because then you can use just use a long extension mm -hmm. and do the same yeah. thing. Control. Yeah, that's true. Go to Harbor Freight and pick one up. Yeah. That plug's almost over the ladder now. It'll come out, it'll stay right on the extension board. Oh, okay. There you go. See that? That works. And that way you get it, it's controlled flow. Yeah, it sticks right on. So, yeah, nice. Does a good job. Now, the oil flow <laughs> is a little different. But I haven't had a problem with the mess, like everybody says. And that's just the uh, comparison with the UPR and the stock. This one has the simple gasket like that. So we'll see. Maybe we'll use it, maybe we won't. I do a uh, test fit, see how I like how it fits, and we'll see. It's crazy that these things are plastic, though. Yep. <laughs> Let me see how this thing. See, I take the one rag and I cover all the electrical wiring. It's got some movement. Yeah. Any drips on that'll get it. Tell you what, the factory one seems like it fits tighter. Really? It's easier to get it out with this, that's Is for it? sure. <laughs> well, that's a good way to test and find out. Yeah. I think I'm probably going to stay with the, the original, George. All right. Because watch, I'll show you when I put this one in. You know, it's solid, but look. Yeah, look at the wiggle on that. See how much movement? Yeah. I don't like that. No, I don't like it either. And I'll tell you, one of the reasons why I wouldn't like that is because of the vibration these engines yeah. have. So I'm going to go with the original. Save you from buying one. Yeah. So when I put this original one in, it's more of a solid fit. It doesn't wiggle. So. Same with the original. Good thing I didn't pay for that UPR one. <laughs> so that's where the, the oil filter sits. Up through there and we'll get that thing out of there. And... My trick is I'll take my wrench, go through here. Right. Break it free. Once I have it where I can turn it, I have two funnels. Big one, a little one that I put under here. Okay. I, put a, I put a couple of rags on this side and on this side just to block it in case I lose anything. But the two funnels, and then that thing will drop right out. It'll, yeah. As I'm loosening it up, the oil hits the funnels and goes right into the pan. Yeah. That's okay. how I've been doing it. Yeah. When I do it at the house, yeah, with the quick jacks, just raise it up. I take the tire, the off. tire off, and I'll get the the funnel. Funnel piece. You yeah. have one of those. Uh, the flex. The flex. Do you put funnel. it up in here, or do you put it? Right I here? put it up through the side. Through, through this. I don't even take this off. Oh, no? Mm -mm. I'll go right through the side here and just let it all funnel out okay. to the side. So it usually, yeah, I might get a drip here and there, but yeah. it, it's worked out for me that way. All right, I'm not saying this is the way to do it, but this is the way <laughs> I try and go, so. <laughs> all right, well, we'll see. We'll right. work it. So we'll need to bring that pan back in. I'm gonna break it loose first. Let's see what we're doing. Yep. I didn't move it, so it's right where it was placed. So you know it's going to fall. Like I said, it's not the greatest, but right. yeah, so you've got good flow in there now, see? Yeah. That form of funnel would work good on there, you're doing it this way too. Just yeah. put it up under there and lay it out. I said, I like With, that guy's sleeve he made up. It pushes it over to the side. Right. With the quick jacks, it just makes it easy. You know, I oh, don't yeah. have a whole lot of room under here to work, so with the tire off, it's, it's just, uh, it's a little easier with that quick jacks going off the side. But if you can do it all from under here, just this one just takes a little bit more prep to not make a mess. That's all. Get it down there's the next thing, I guess. 
I don't know if the filter's in the canister, if the filter's hanging. Right, because sometimes on the it engine. does come out, right? Feels like the filter's on the motor. Okay. I'm gonna try and dump some of the oil out of the filter. Yeah, see, it didn't make too bad of a mess on that either. No, so. no it's not too bad. Now let's just go up here and grab it. Oh, yeah, it was stuck in there. <laughs> yeah. Let's get the filter out. Doing its job. Gold plated filters. Hard to get. <laughs> but they're coming readily available now, though. That's for sure. People are starting to grab them. Look good metallic. to you? Don't say metallic stuff. You see some people, they, they take this and blow it apart. Oh, and... yeah. I think they were collapsing in the earlier one. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my opinion. With, with having that, that plastic that, cage in there, yeah. and as hot as it gets, that plastic probably gets soft. Yeah. That's, that's what I was thinking. That's why they were, I think that's where they had the engine fears. Because, because they changed it with no... They changed it. And there was no explanation. No. They no just, explanation. They changed it. And then you didn't see the engine failures. There was never any paperwork saying use this one over because you know our manuals still say use the other one. Yours says it. Mine does. Oh, yours has this one. Okay. Yep. Yeah. My my manual they says. Didn't change. It says what's use it? Twenty sixty two. Twenty sixty two. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what was for your vehicles. Right. Mine says FL two hundred seven. Yeah. is my my Instagram okay. what to get you one made up for your uh, Instagram <laughs> yeah that is a goofy spot for this way up underneath there all right she's good to go go ahead and start her up get this oil running in her little on the quiet side today all right oils in all buttoned up, looking good. Where'd George go? There he is. Yeah, she's 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 quiet. I got her closed. Just purr. So I want to thank George for letting me use the garage. Always welcome. He's a great guy. He's got all the tools. I like to see it getting used instead of sitting there. So we have it here. Do different things when he needs some help. I'll come over and help him. I'm gonna call it a day. I want to thank everyone for tuning in, joining me and George here with the oil change. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and until next time, take care.